Hi, my name is Johnny and I use he, him pronouns. Hi, and I'm Kanchi and I use she, her pronouns. And we're here to talk about pronouns. pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is how we identify ourselves apart from our name, and it's also how people refer to us in conversations. Using the right pronouns is a really simple way to affirm someone's identity. It is a signal of acceptance and respect. If it's a signal of acceptance and respect, how do we go about creating a safe space for everybody? That's a good question. A really good way to do that is to use inclusive language. Instead of saying something like, hey guys, you can say, hey everyone, or hey team. Yeah, and now that you say that, another way that we could show that we're allies and that we accept everybody is to maybe include our pronouns in our emails or, like we just did, introduce ourselves using our pronouns. But what would I do if I uh, misgender someone? I think the first thing to recognize is that it's not the end of the world. You correct yourself and move on or you accept the correction and move on. The most important thing I can tell you is do not put the burden of making you feel good about your mistake on the person that you just misgendered. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Yeah, and another tip uh, for you to remember their uh, pronoun next time, it's in your mind. Kind of go through a progression of three good things about the person using their pronoun. So let's say the person chooses to use they, mm -hmm. then you will in your mind go, they have a nice shirt, they have a nice smile, they are really smart. So that kind of sticks in your brain. That is so helpful. Um, I want to know, what would I do if I want to know someone's gender identity or pronouns? The most important thing is do not pressure anybody into giving you their pronouns. Some people may be going through the process of discovery and they are not ready yet to tell you what their pronouns are, and that's okay. So I should just lead with my pronouns and they may follow or not, and if they don't, then I can just continue to use gender neutral language. Yes, exactly. Just to share something with you that happened uh, the other day at a cookout I was at, we were uh, talking about pronouns and somebody was disagreeing with how different people um, see themselves as different pronouns and the argument was if you look like a female then it's she her because that's what's normal and if you make me call you something else then you're infringing on my rights and I I was really taken aback by the comment and I really wasn't sure how to respond and the only thing I could really think quickly to say was it's not about you at all and it's mostly and ultimately about respect. It is about respect. That's an important point to make. And I think you did the right thing. I think it's important to keep it short and simple. What I would have said to help them understand better is to talk about mispronouncing names. For example, my name is Johnny, spelled J-O-N-Y. And it's normal for someone to pronounce my name like Joni. But if I were to tell you over and over again, my name is Johnny, and you insist on mispronouncing my name, I would feel disrespected by you. Some names are very difficult to pronounce, but do you know what is very easy to pronounce? She, he, they.